Since 1994, say fast and more, our reliable name, Mixcat.com. Guys, keep Mixcat. You're in my garage. I got a um, little vent hood here. Kind of pull it up a little bit better so you guys can see it. Just pick this up at Home Depot. It's got the vents on the side and protects against rain. Um, also, won't let any of the little critters in the, in the roof. Uh, today's project, I'm going to build a, a solar fan for the attic. Um, I'm taking a traditional fan, electric fan, let me grab that so you guys can see, and I'm going to mount this in the attic, and I'm going to use my uh, solar panels that I have on the roof that's charging some DC batteries, some lead acid batteries, and uh, hooking it to this fan. Uh, this fan is uh, under an amp, it's 0.8 amps. The fans I was looking at at Home Depot um, for the solar uh, package they had was over $200 and it was only 500 CFM, so it's really not much air that it moves out. Definitely would save you some electric, uh, being it would cool off the attic, but I, I wanted to get something a little beefier, so I'm going this route. And as you can see, I paid $25 at an electronic surplus store for this. This hood was $16, and I also have a temperature gauge that I'm going to put in the actual attic so we can see what the temperature is and I can monitor that. Um, I also did get an electronic uh, timer. That way I can have it turn on um, when it starts to get a little bit warm during the day, I'd say probably early morning, and shut off when the, the sun goes down. That way it's not running all night. Um, in the future, I'll probably make that temperature control, but for right now, this will help. And I'm motivated because my electric bill was 400 bucks plus this month. That's the most I've ever had. The electric has gone up crazy here in Kissimmee, Florida. And I'm going to combat that with solar. I'm going to try to do everything I possibly can do to be more self-sufficient and possibly, hopefully, get off the grid. Um, I have an up-and-coming windmill project I'm working on. And in the future, I'll definitely have enough uh, solar panels up there to run everything in the house, and that's something in the future. But let's get to this uh, solar attic fan project. All right, thanks, guys. Stay tuned. A good shot of my temperature gauge here. This is going to tell us what the temperature is in my garage versus what's in the attic. Um, I expect it's probably going to be 100 degrees plus up there. I went up there. And Man, is it hot. Okay, right now it's about 5.30, uh, going on 6 o'clock. I waited till now because it was extremely hot today. Um, I put the sending unit up in the attic, and as you can see, it's still rising. Um, it's probably 110 degrees earlier. It was just ridiculous. As soon as I was up there, I was dripping. It was so hot. But you can see it's about a, a 10 degree difference between my garage temperature versus what's upstairs and I really do think this is going to climb more. Um, now that it's a little bit cooler out, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting a hole in the roof and getting that um, the vent up there. Alright guys, uh, it looks like it's settled out at 105. Um, it's about 6 o'clock outside. It cooled down to an 89. And the good thing you guys can't smell me. I'm sweating like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> it was hot in the attic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump on the roof and start cutting this hole out. All right. I just got the, uh, the vent put in. Cut out a hole in the center. As you can see, I kind of put tar around the, uh, the vent there. It's hot up there. Just make sure you really screw it down good. Especially in this state, we got hurricane winds. So I put tar underneath of it and um, sheetrock screws on the top that uh, I like the sheetrock screws because they pull the aluminum down pretty snug and you can put tar right over the top of them so it's it's pretty streamlined now uh, I'm gonna go inside and actually put the the fan into place and hook up the electronics well as you can see there it's only been up for maybe uh, 20 minutes or so you still can hear that lawnmower going my neighbor's doing his lawn we've already dropped down six degrees so we're making progress. It's without the fan even up there. As you can see, the uh, temperature dropped a degree or two in the, um, the garage, so you can kind of judge accordingly. Um, all right, now we're going to put the electric fan and conclude this project. Hey, guys. I, <laughs> I really don't have 
floor planks in here. I got a couple two by fours I'm standing on. Forgive the light. Uh, it's going to be hard for me to actually show you guys the install, but he, here's the hole. I can put my hand outside, and you can feel it's a lot cooler out there. It's not a perfectly cut hole, but it's uh, big enough for my use, and it's all tarred up. I unfortunately couldn't um, maneuver a jigsaw. I probably could straighten it up on this side. Maybe I'll do that a little bit later. But right now I'm going to get that fan into place and uh, conclude this project. It's hot up here. Alright. Attic fan here. Alright, we're going to do it with the label pointing up because it's going to be pulling from the attic and going out. Yeah, it's, this is pretty screw gets there, it'll be a little bit easier. Right. Oh, it's hot up here. Definitely do this in the evening, especially if you're in a hot state like this, so you don't sweat all over yourself. are having fun watching me here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is great if you got a son or a friend to come help. I am totally exhausted. Alright, I'll stop whining. get to see how good this works. You can see how much I'm sweating. I ain't kidding. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's plug her in. I can certainly use some air. Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Ah. Oh. oh, that works nice. Let me zoom in for you guys. She's going. Oh boy, does it feel good too. All right, we're gonna watch the temperature drop downstairs. All right, guys, excuse the noise. My neighbor's still going at it. Look at the temperature. We're already almost 10 degrees down from when we started this project. You can see that the top temperature is 87.8. That's the actual uh, temperature in the garage, and it's actually sitting on top of the refrigerator, so it's a little cool in here. Um, the attic is steadily going down, 96.8, so we're having a good, good decrease in temp, and it's only been on a couple minutes. Now, with any good project, comes the beer. This is the rewards of the hard work. Right now, we got a gangling on tap. A lot of head on this one, wow. That's all right. Salute, guys. As you've seen, it was pretty easy to do. Uh, hopefully you're in a state that's a little bit cooler than Florida, which will make it a lot easier. But definitely in the hotter states, this is a must. I mean, my electric bill last month was 400 and something dollars, just insane. And you can see it's still dropping, that's awesome. Salute, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Ah, all right, take care. Here's a shot of the completed product. All tarred down nice and even. As you can hear, my neighbor's still cutting his lawn. He's a perfectionist. 
I see you enjoyed the video. Hey, he's giving me the thumbs up. All right, he likes it. Excellent. Let me zoom in for you guys. All right. 96.4. And the results about an hour later. The actual garage, 90 degrees, like it was before. And the attic is just about the same temperature. It's only about a degree off. Actually, it looks close to almost a half a degree off. You really can't beat it. Since 1994, save fast and more. Our reliable name, Mixcat.com.